Live from the local station, News 4 Jax starts now. A new go for today's historic launch from Kennedy Space Center. It was scrubbed 16 minutes before the scheduled liftoff at 4.33 due to threatening weather at the Cape. In the past eight minutes, astronauts Robert Behnken and Douglas Hurley exited the Crew Dragon spacecraft. Both have been training more than five years for this mission. Video earlier today shows them waving and giving air hugs to their families before they made their way to Launch Pad 39. They will do this all over again Saturday afternoon. That's when the next window for launch will open at 322 Saturday afternoon. And if the weather still doesn't cooperate, SpaceX and NASA will try again Sunday afternoon at 3. President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump traveled to Kennedy Space Center along with Vice President Pence and his wife Karen to watch the rocket go up. This video shows Air Force One leaving just over an hour ago, and it will be returning on Saturday. News 4 Jack's anchor Bruce Hamilton and News 4 Jack's reporter Scott Johnson are covering all the developments for us. We begin with Bruce live from the Space Coast. Bruce. Mary, I'm listening to Jim Bridenstine, who's the NASA administrator right now. First, let me tell you that the astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley just minutes ago we're uh, disembarking from the Crew Dragon space capsule, and they're caravanning now back to their, uh, well, uh, home away from home, the Crew Dragon space capsule. They're being driven back to the uh, quarters where they will be quarantined until Saturday morning, where they will try this all over again. Let me tell you what Jim Bridenstine, the uh, NASA administrator, was saying. He said, look, uh, I know we have VIPs here, the President of the United States, Vice President Mike Pence here. Uh, under no circumstances are we going to be pressured to go ahead and launch under any circumstances if the conditions are not optimal. And basically the Air Force Weather 45th Squadron said, look, there's basically a code red here. The weather conditions just are not what they should be and we don't think that you should go ahead and launch. There is lightning in the area because of those anvil clouds and uh, you know, we don't think that it's worth it at this time. And you know, basically he said, we, we learned something here. We've had dry rehearsals when it comes to putting everybody through their paces with this Falcon 9 launch. And we learned some things here because we had wet rehearsals. Uh, it has been a, a pretty wet day today. And even though they had the astronauts on board, they went ahead and they loaded the uh, fuel and things like that. They learned some things, even though they scrubbed with just 16 minutes left on the launch window. He said they made the right call, despite the fact that the president was here, the vice president was here, and everybody was ready to go. He was not about to put anybody's life in danger, but it was indeed because there was lightning in the area, they decided to go ahead and make this call. And he says they're ready to go ahead and try it again. He would make the call again if they would, uh, you know, be under the same circumstances. Now, I mentioned just about five, six minutes ago, they were taken into the white room and off the crew dragging capsule. Let me go ahead and show you the process. Basically, they had to go ahead and have the crew access arm rolled back, and uh, the crew was up there wearing their masks, and they brought uh, Bob Behnken and, uh, and Doug Hurley, and they got uh, their gloves off, and they headed back out of the crew dragging capsule, down the hallway, down the elevator, into the cars, and back to their, um, their quarters. Uh, it'll certainly give them a chance to go ahead and, and see their families one more time, uh, who will remain at the Kennedy Space Center, presumably, until they try again to make history on Saturday morning. Narrow launch window again, 3.22 in the afternoon. They can fly then, Sunday at 3 o'clock. And this is Florida. Weather will be a concern. Last I checked, 50-50 chance for showers on Saturday. Sunday, I'm not sure, but uh, things could change between now and then. But they're ready to give it a go. And News for Jax will be here to cover the launch and bring it to you live. If and when it happens, when they try and make history, you know the drill. First time in nine years, they're going to try and put U.S. astronauts into space since the last shuttle Atlantis launch. And uh, no more dependence on Russia to get us into space to the International Space Station. When it happens, count on Channel 4 and News for Jacks to bring you the live coverage. For now, along the banks of the Indian River, with the launch pad just behind me, Bruce Hamilton, Channel 4, The Local Station.
Thank you, Bruce. And let's go now to News for Jacks reporter Scott Johnson, who was live in Titusville. And Scott, not the outcome the crowds were hoping for, but SpaceX did not want to take any chances with the astronauts' safety. They didn't. And frankly, all the people, the thousands who are now gone, were all wondering, would this happen? Because it was rainy, stormy, lightning throughout the day. But we would see glimpses in the clouds. But I was here uh, this afternoon, right around 420-ish, when they said, no, there would not be a launch. And immediately, thousands of people who were gathered here where I am in Titusville packed up got in their cars and there's still a line of traffic. Chris, could you pan to the left over there? Or you're seeing the video actually rather right now of the people as they just started leaving, determining, well, we hoped it would happen, but they looked at the weather and a lot of people were surprised or not surprised that it did not happen. I talked to many of them, including one man from Palatka who said he still enjoyed himself today. Disappointed you drove all this way for nothing? No, it's an adventure in itself. It is? My two boys driving down here listening to um, the radio and stuff. It was, it was a blast. It was, but no blast off. No blast off, no. We'll be back Saturday. So that gentleman from Blacka who I spoke with says they'll come back up from Putnam, pack down from Putnam County here. He scoped out some spots. It'll be a little easier parking because now I can show you Chris Pan to the left. I don't know how well you can see because we're stuck behind a few cars, but it is gridlock traffic getting out of Titusville right now because all these thousands of people are here for launch or taking the slow trod on home, somewhat disappointed that this launch didn't happen. We're going to send it back to you live in Jacksonville for now, live in Titusville. Scott Johnson Channel 4, the local station. It was a great and thank you, Scott. SpaceX. Our coverage of the historic launch continues right now on newsforjax.com as preparations are now underway for Saturday's launch. Inside this story, you'll find four things you should know before the next attempt. Just look on the homepage.